Graph the line x minus 0.5y equals 5 using the intercepts. Again, there are multiple ways to graph a line, but all of them relate back to the fact that two points determine a line. So we're always trying to graph two points and then connect them with the line. In this case, we're told to use the intercepts, and the intercepts will be the two points that we use. Again, the intercepts are where the line crosses the y-axis and where it crosses the x-axis. Now what we know is that when it crosses the y-axis, that point will have an x-coordinate of 0. And when it crosses the x-axis, that point will have a y-coordinate of 0. So to do that, we can draw a table like this to keep track of these points. So when x is 0, we want to know what y is, and that'll be our y-intercept. And when y is 0, we want to know what x is, and that'll be our x-intercept. So now we just need to fill in this table. If x is 0, the equation looks like 0 minus 0.5y equals 5, or just negative 0.5y equals 5, and then to solve for y, we divide both sides by negative 0.5, in which case y equals negative 10. We fill that out on the table, and then do the same, letting y equal 0. So if y equals 0, we have x minus 0.5 times 0, equals 5, and the 0 0.5 times 0 is just 0, so x equals 5. The reason we use this method is that it makes the process pretty straightforward if you plug in a 0 somewhere. Things tend to cancel nicely. And also, later in this chapter, when we start doing linear programming problems, it'll turn out that if we graph lines using the intercepts, we'll save some of our work later in the process, rather than having to do the same work twice. In any case, all we need to do is plot these two points. So 0, negative 10 is down here, and 5, 0 is right here. Once we have those two, we can connect them to graph this line.